Hello once again everyone and welcome to Baldur's Gate 3 the lore series. Of many hearts, one soul. So last time uh, we released Misora, she was here. We got a little deeper into Will's um, affairs and everything that's going on there. We will get answers eventually. But today, lads, it's a very cool episode, in my opinion, it's very good because today we get to unravel and explain, talk about the last, um, everything that we've been picking up, every, every code word, every, every little reference that we've been picking up in the last four episodes or so. Today we are get, uh, getting to unravel a lot of that. And it's going to be pretty sweet. And right off the back, we start because here, look at that. And this symbol right here is very important. You already know probably what that's about. But let's see if we can manage to sneak around here before. Because as we saw right there, there is this guy um, here. Harry Henry. And this is his journal. Let's see. This leaks inert. These fluid chambers. How long have we been here? Making thralls. I don't want to any longer. Mercury is drowned out by my head, uh, in my head by my own spiral fears. The Bone Lord doesn't want a coward. None of this uh, looks real. I am in a, in a kraken belly. I am turned inside upside and I am dead. Miracle's grey ways always sounded peaceful, peaceful, not like this. So yeah, the, uh, we are in at the very bottom, inside of the Moonrise Towers, as you might remember. But nonetheless, let's see what this is about. And look at these bombs. Lashes. Balthazar let one of his walking carcasses lapse from his control. Let's ferry them back. Wait! By the Bone Lord! It's you! Me. I thought I'd never see you again. Do I know I you? I wanted to keep you for myself. But they shipped you away. Very well, so this is very interesting. And I'm not entirely sure if we can get much of this. But... If you might, if you remember the encounters and dialogues that we've had in the Moonrise Towers, there was the warden telling us that we've been there already. There's the cat that recognized us. That sadly we didn't get to talk too much with the cat. Uh, things happened, and someone else, which I cannot remember right now. But yeah, we have been there before. Only we don't know because of the dark urge. So, uh, I don't know what you uh, what you're talking about, but you're going to tell me everything. It is very cryptic. We never you get too much. Talk. How is that possible? Something must have gone wrong. Oh, but what an arresting voice you have! You're not supposed to be here, special one. That's not right. But I don't want to damage you. You were my very first, after all. I learned everything about the parasites from you. I remember finding you close to death. Beaten black and blue on the floor of this sanctum. It must Here. have been a few hours after the tadpole was placed in your skull. How you got here was a total mystery. But I stitched you up just enough to keep you alive. Then placed you within your crib. I kept you as mine until you were needed by our superiors. We had such a close bond. I opened you up endlessly with my scalpels and got lost in your insides. Well, that is very pleasant, thanks. Um... So, yeah, whatever we do now, we get the same outcome, so. Not much we will learn about the dirge today, but
but a lot of references will be made to that and worry not we will get to that I was needed in the absolute plant for what the most important work the nature of which I only heard whispers truthfully I'm not surprised to see you found your way back here all by yourself I always knew you were clever it has never been the same with another all the other victims who come here just meekly obey you thrashed you fought you were indomitable but as special as you are you shouldn't be swanning around here acting as if free will is yours again we're going to kill you sweet oh. one but I promise I will stay with you afterwards. You will try. Lashes, bring this one back to my table. And prepare my knives for a long night of experiments. Very well. So, yeah, as I said previously, we don't really get much out of this. It's always the same outcome. But, nonetheless, we do have these pumps here. So let's see if we can do anything with that. Stallion doesn't have strength, of course, but, you know, since they're here, we might as well use them. This is taking ages. I wasted all of my my move. Yep. Well, that we have to do. Should probably get out of here as well. And to let up these things, I think I do need a fire bolt. Oh, brilliant. He hit the the ceiling. You will bake for long before uh, no. No need. There's that, you idiot. Very well. So now you... I'm gonna do this. Not nearly as much damage as I thought, but... Then again, that must be the placement, surely. Nonetheless, it was pretty good. What are you gonna do now? This guy's still alive. Saved it, so it's fine. That's a uh, level 5 spell slot. Yeah. It doesn't seem like it's worth... It's worth it. Now. Wait, did they teleport it? Yeah, they're right here. It's too far away. Oh no. Excellent. Ah! 
Damn. Okay. Come on, can't stay idle. These two are dead. Oh well. Do you have the same? That is not very nice. dead now you oh I didn't even realize and right we should definitely oh the hack doctor who half pieced you together after whatever caused your head to get in this mess Someone else must have attacked you in the midst of whatever you were doing down here. This necromancer was a grunt in the scheme of the horrors enacted against you. That attacker is the source. The attacker is the source. We definitely want to get out of this. Uh, something out of this. Try to remember the attack. In the heart of all these membranes, there was a dagger awaiting you all along. But from who? Indeed. Well, th they don't really have anything uh, meaningful. I have to be. I had to be uh, very careful with the. Uh, managing my my things we do have a lot of rubbish to sell but yeah that's not the point well you do know this symbol don't you it is pretty important So we read this journal. Now here there is uh, a couple other things. Right. I remember our life as a country surgeons back in Nashkel. We only ever wanted to be the best, to learn how to staunch any mortal wound. How did we get here? Cressa hasn't been herself since her pet trussel was shipped out on that nautiloid. So that is me, basically. That is us. I haven't uh, been able to uh, to so as much as touch her. I find myself growing green at the thought. My own wife revolts me with those experiments. Not really my wife any longer. I thought getting that favorite creature dispatch would bring her back to herself. But she pines for that damn feral corpse with aching knee. If she finds out I ratted out to Balthazar that she was keeping it, uh, and got it sent away, she might kill me. That is weird that it's more stuff about us. Will know my design. Our design. I have seen a thousand years. Some have the reflexes to twitch. When they know the worm it's about to burrow. Uh, the worm takes longer to get through it if the entry hole isn't cleaned. I have taken to torching them with an ear candle. It all makes for dull work. I am tired of ears. I am tired of my only order being create throws. Apparently all we need to know about the brain is being uh, brain is being handled by the chosen. I am forbidden from studying these dull throughouts. I need a new one, one that Balthazar doesn't know of, a creature of exceptional will, like my old dear pet. 
can keep fragments of its own mind while affected by the parasite. We need to know why. So that's my memories, basically. Experiments are on the first one. Day four. So that uh, I am the first one, she says. Again, I have noted, I noted a fluid leakage from the oral cavity and have ascertained the cause due to the unusual method of parasitic insertion the, secre the secretion of the creature within are leaking out rather than being absorbed by the brain as we, as we have noted in other thralls I cannot say why the parasite is evacuating this oil but it has the scent of garlic we now know indicates it has fed on the host's brain ma uh, brain matter itself I have collected a sample of the ear fluid, day 5. Vivisection uh, day today. Show no signs of pain as I was unraveling the long in intestine. But instead grabbed the organs as if it were a rope and reached to grab it around my neck. Damn! As if to strangle me, but all the strength in its poor arm is quite gone. Had to thread the guts back into the body. We'll try again another day. The fact that we are we are the ones doing all of that, it's of insanity. And that's about it. Um No, you know what? I'm gonna use um potion. It's over here, I believe. Right. It would be nice if we can bring Karlak, but the thing is, um, I do not find who to replace uh, for her. But nonetheless, there is another, another, um, what would you call it? Another event that requires her presence so we would be good to go just as we are now and we will bring her another time Descend. Obey. so what i'm looking for now it's the necromancer arena from the last episode there was a little platform there that we did not explore and I told you that we would come back later uh, this is where we killed um, that guy that was uh, basically control uh, mind control until numbed Yeah, it's here, I believe. Yep. This is where we had the fight with the Necromancer. And then there is this that we didn't quite observe. Begin to manipulate the mind very well, lads. So this is just a um, little puzzle. It's uh, it, in order to open this uh, door. It's pretty easy. So you see, you got memory, reason, speech, and emotion. And here you have the same. So you have to make it all the way here. 
in the respective respective one so for example reason then reason is uh here it will go like that oh well yeah it's um childishly simple so worry not speech here Wait, which one was it? Forgot. This has to be like way quicker when you're playing on, on PC probably. Right. You see, it's talking now. Right. Now, memory on this one. I apologize, but playing with controller does make it a little slower. curious it's curious nonetheless and emotion welcome back master uh, uh, uh. welcome back master so that's what she was trying to say time to see what's back there right Attention to this movie, lads. Desecrated relief. So, what we can see here, obviously, that's a nautiloid over there. There's lots of tentacles. And there is one mind flayer there ruling over people. But, what many fail to see the first time around is that there is also mind flayers here. So, it's ruling over them all. This is uh, what the grand design is about. Design. Your tadpole echoes, not with presence, but memory, tinged with loss. The grand design. Fury burying claws in your mind. Taken, corrupted, gone. And just as suddenly, pain and memory are gone, leaving only stone once more. The grand design, the restoration of the Mind Flayer Empire, the dream of all Illithids. So, this is when it, it begins to be. Fairly interesting because so far into the game the story as it paints the picture it's basically the the mind flayers and the Githyanki being at war and, and so on. But we will discover today that that is not everything that it is to it. The moment comes. And we're hearing the absolute all the time. But yeah, it is certainly 
coming together. Slowly, but it is. We never went this way. Right. I feel glorious. She's a prayer. He's a note. Never is relics. So this I'm not gonna read because we get to explain it today. But if you if you want to read entirely, feel free to pause it. There you are. And this is also no longer uh, too uh, relevant, so ask as well. Feel free to pause it. I don't even know what that does, quite frankly. I don't recall it. Nonetheless, we need to get moving now. So that's where we fought the, the illicit. A whole fleet of nautiloids. How many true souls have passed through this place? Look at that. Are that things to heal us? I wish there uh, a rest there. What is this? Here. Ah, that's for the platform. So, lads. There's not much else to see here. And there is no going back. Off we go. Curious. Lads, take a deep breath. No longer a background murmur, the presence in your mind builds to a roar. We've found it. The absolute is behind this door. You don't say. That, by the way, is Will's father. He said it was under control. It isn't you I answer to, Gortash. Oh, the general voice. Is this where we salute? Salute, yes, with cleavers through his blood-starved flesh. How it crawls with failure, like flies on lick-wet carrion. You forget yourself, Orin. I have played my part. You've built an army for our masters, true enough. But what of the astral prison? A rogue true soul flaunting it under your nose all this time. And you ran from her. 
Sure that they would follow and deliver it into my hands here. If you would cease these distractions. The distractions have been yours, Ketherick. Perhaps we never should have dug your daughter up. <sighs> so you haven't lost your edge. But you're still not as sharp as Orin, I wager. The Slayer against the Undying One. That'd be fun to see. His crept breath sings to my sinews again, 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 again. But he must lead the murder march to Baldur's grave. If the weapon is truly in your grasp, Ketherick, might I suggest closing your fist? Orin and I can wait for you no longer. The plan proceeds. We're going to the city, and we expect you to follow. Army and the weapon in tow. Right. This is very interesting. The last of and most powerful creatures in existence, enslaved by mere mortals. There we are. It wouldn't do to fight in front of our guest. Behold, Duke Ravenguard, the Absolute. Who will preserve us? You wag your word flap in vain, Alderling. Once the worm holds the whip, your shredded flesh will serve us. Shit, no! Father! Now, it's really time we were going. We will empty this place and begin the march. You may catch up with the army once you've retrieved the weapon. And Ketherick, do try not to sulk. You're supposed to be the fearsome general come to conquer the city. And I am the hero who will save it. It is time, faithful ones. March on Boulder's Gate. They're going already. Go to prepare the way. So, guys, a lot to talk about here. So, if you've been following this series, you know about the the dead three, the gods, basically Bane, Bald, Merkel. We've been learning about that all along. So, these three. Uh, guys we saw there are basically their paladins they're chosen and the this is when we learn that the absolute it's the elder brain controlled by these three which at the same time are doing the will of the these gods that i mentioned and that is the true scheme so the thing is it's all a masquerade obviously Thorm is going to lead the march, uh, pretending to... Well, it pretends to to fail. That's the plan. And then Gortosh saves the city, obviously pretends to. And hence, they claim ruling over the city, right? And eventually, all of Phaedon. So there's that for explanation. There is Catholic there. There is a mind player here. And that's one of the reasons as well as why uh, we encountered one of the mind flayers that wa uh, had free will down in the un uh, in the Underdark, if you don't remember. And that is Alien Chain, once again. So, 
this is one heck of a fight coming along. What I will try to do is see if I can manage something. I am more strategic. On the brow. Uh, the right call would be to try and release Aileen the soon, the soonest as we can. She's great help. Can I jump here? I can. There is something down there. It's an intellect devourer. How come he can see all the way up here? That's odd. If I could stay behind here. Very well. There you are, as predicted. What is it, I wonder, that draws one toward death like a moth to light? You could have run away, absconded with the prism. The one thing that could prevent me from fulfilling my destiny. But the lure of one's destiny is irresistible, isn't it? Perhaps you hope to learn your place in history before you are erased from it. A bright flash of clarity before the snuffing out. Very well. We do want to learn more about our past. I don't know if we get something out of this. Your place is to die so that I might finally live. Let us speak plainly. My Lord Merkel gave me the one thing I desired. The one thing no other god could grant me. My daughter's life returned. Her heart beating once more. For that, he asked that I serve as his chosen. Join Orin and Gortash to grow the cult of the Absolute, and then take control of it. He's never had a more devoted follower. I have fought great wars before, in the service of other gods and other powers. But for Merkel, I would condemn all of Faerun to death. You are all that stands between me and my destiny. And you have brought the prism here. I will kill you now. And then I will raise you as my servant. You're planning on betraying your allies. Well, this, lads, this happens a lot with these three gods. It's happened before. It's usually what comes down to. Yes. Join the army of the dead, true soul. Witness Lord Merkel's glory. Very well. Oh, he gets the first shot? Well, I did not expect that. However... Yes, yes. These guys are still... Not triggered. And he made... Oh, because everyone is attacking me. Well, everyone has a shot but me in this round, lol. Let's see what we can work out here. Everyone is over there. I don't get nothing it seems. Battle favors the fearless. What is it? Ah! 
right. So everything's gone down really badly, but we'll have to work it out. Is this all of you? It's boogieing. There it is. Right, so he's casting necromancy. And I am literally dead, so... Doesn't he have a... One of these, yeah, but it's too far away. And I can most definitely not jump that way without wasting my action. Very well then. Clearing up. Mind Flayer. I have to be completely honest, I did not even realize how was that this happened. But in any case, well, it has to be too far away, right? Yeah. doesn't make it. The moment I can do much. really care much for that guy I want to be able to use the hex Let's see if it can be done now. Yes, you do.
well, the sword was left here to do nothing. Well, the axe, I mean. Can I move? I can. It is still too far away in any case. Yes, guys, that was intended. I believe we cannot do much to form at the moment. Invulnerable, yeah. Until Alien is released. So... Is that? You just skip my turn. I'm not gonna die again, right? For the necromancy. Like, the, the only thing we can do right is to... Precisely, I died. If I use... Hold on. This is the axe. If I use a misty step... Mm. I lose my action, don't I? Right. Damn, that took a while. But she's free. And Astarion is doing terribly. Uh, we do not want to engage melee because Thorm hits pretty hard. Come on, fly. Or go walking. We are doing pretty badly. Right. I really need to clean up. Right. Just keep casting Eldritch Blast, otherwise, uh... yeah, we do not want to engage melee. Nothing important is ever easy. Well, what I'm going to do. So I'm gonna give this to Alien. Well, I didn't give it to her. This is the one that keeps... Yeah, okay. Not 
We do not want to... We do not want her to die. Very well. Oh, she's... She, she fell. Oh, he's in... He's in big trouble, though. Now. Oof. I wanna get closed. Well, that's too far away for a shot, probably. Yeah. This is my time. I'm gonna get Will to move here as well. Because I really need to do a healing. And one of these as well. Right. This feels good. Battle favors the fearless. Still breathing, despite everything. You do not have movement to get here, right? No. So he's almost done. There we go. Oof. And that's it. What a fool you are. You cannot kill me. I am eternal. Merkel, Lord of Bones, I am here. I am ready. I am yours. Precisely. So he's got the first move. We really need Aileen to not die. That was nice. Now you were a face to match your soul, Which is not referring to me by the way. What we need to do here. Um, it's hopefully to stay on its back. I learned that the hard way. Keep guessing. 
bone chilled. By being bone chilled means that cannot be healed, just so you know. The hits. Styron is it's got it pretty good. Do not be thinking this is easy at all, like we played a lot to get um this sort of damage. I mean you've been along, you know that we've done everything mostly. Let's finish this. But yeah, more than anything. I cannot do I cannot bless, I believe. It's too far. And that I can definitely not heal her. Yeah, because of the bone shield. was my last <laughs> that was my last five slot spell this is my time same thing we want to move the thing is uh, it's gonna turn around I mean any lean is in the other side it's gonna turn around and it's gonna bash on us let's try that new weapon of yours That's not what I intended to do. Oh well. Tough shit then. No choice but to keep going. That's not bad at all. One life to my life. Sustain I almost, for a second there, I really thought Shadowheart was gonna fall to her death. Are these idiots still around? No. Very well. We'll worry about Will later. Good thing is we still have hits back. Damn, Astarion. That's looking good, that's looking good. I'm gonna get closer first of all. Damn it. Still on my feet. Fall by my hand. There you are. We just vanished a deity.
down. Fealty. Do what you must. Then we fly this foul place. Well, that was intense, wasn't it? Let's just get rid of these guys and Netherstone. It's in his own. Take it. Netherstone. So yeah, let's just get rid of these guys. Let's get Will up. <laughs> and we can carry on. Wait, where is it? Ah, here. There you go. Come on, Will. So, a few things to share here. Absolutely. At least things have stayed interesting. So we've already um, unravel what this whole scheme was about. Now let's see about. Uh, well, there is many things over there as well. Maybe we should take a look. The grand design, the absolute end, invitation to Lord Gortos. Never mind. Here now. The dream visitor was talking to us about it. In death, the body is cooling, but energy radiates from the stone. Who's that? Remarkable, truly. And now the picture comes together. The Absolute is neither God nor man. It is the Elder Brain you saw. Held here by those three against its will. Precisely the what we... The wears controls it. And these stones control the crown. It has been dominated. To master an Elder Brain. To subdue it. Our enemies are formidable. Very well. How is it you're able to leave the astral prism now? A temporary reprieve, but a welcome one. With a brain on its way to the city, its influence here is weakened. Right. So she's basically telling telling us uh, what we've already seen and talked about. The crown's marking suggested was forged in Netheril. An ancient empire whose mastery over magic rivals the gods. It is a crown of domination. The stones were taken from its crest. They are nether stones, imbued with the ability to control the wearer of the crown. The crown's netherese magic must be the true source of the parasite's abilities. This must be what elevates their potential. And it must be the reason nobody could heal you. If the crown can do this to the parasite, I dare not imagine what it is doing to the brain. Right, so, first of all, um, you know that in this uh, series we won't be seeing lore from characters like Pinthara, obviously, because we are not bad, and Gale is out, because, well, you know why. This thing here, <laughs> and Nether is magic. If we were to have Gale, uh, he would explain to us eventually uh, this, uh, the lore of this city, of this nether, basically, and told, told us the story. I'm, I'm trying to make it brief. Tell us the story about this 
magician that tried to become a, a deity to transcend human form uh, for that he mess, uh, uh, mess around a lot with the god of magic back then which was Mistral, uh, Mistril, Mistril I believe and eventually what happened is that that city and everything around was blown uh, away and there was no magic in the world ever since until much later hundreds of years I, 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 I'm not entirely sure but that's how it's told and um, these li little lines of magic started to show up in the world again it's what Gail would have called the uh, waves and then a this new goddess of magic would have been born which is Mistra uh, yeah maybe maybe we do a, a different series another series I don't know let me know what you got in mind if you would like me to explain all of those things that we are not going to see in this series but yeah just a little background for this uh, netherese magic which might be influencing the parasites but let's carry on do you know who our enemies are one of them i know lord enver gortash an arms dealer and a slaver a worshipper of bane the god of tyranny the other is a mystery to me, but the way she spoke, it is most likely she follows Baal, god of murder. Ketherick was a follower of Merkel, which means the Absolute is a front for the gods of death, and our enemies are the chosen of the dead three. Precisely what we figure. The Tyrant, the Assassin, and the Necromancer. They are known to pick from their most devout followers, a Chosen, granting them incredible powers. Each one alone would be a formidable enemy. But working together and controlling an Elder Brain, I dare not imagine what they might achieve. What do we do now? We prepare for the fight of our lives, and the lives of everyone in Faerun. The army of the Absolute is marching on Baldur's Gate. Within the city, an Elder Brain, brimming with power, ready to turn everyone within its reach into Mind Flayers. All it needs is an order, an order the Death Gods Chosen are on the cusp of giving. We must wrest control of the brain from the Chosen before that happens. We must take their stones. Our chances of success are slim, but we must not fail. If we fail, everything ends. I will be your shield, but you must be the sword. And when the chance comes to strike, you must take it, for there may only be one chance. Right, so, few things. <clears throat> Rumpel note. Well, this is a letter from Isabel, maybe from childhood, whatever. From different times. There is the shield. But in truth, the one that Shadowheart's got is better. Let's send it to camp. Is the hammer, which again, our sword is slightly better, but nonetheless, it's really good. And now, this on the other hand seems to be a lot better. Well, not a whole lot better, but it has one thing specifically um, Howl of the Death a cantrip but also it's got uh, it's got one more level so that would be AC 20 already for us I'm not entirely sure where we where we can see that there AC 19 and 
with with this. Let me send this to camp because we are encumbered. And with this, AC20, which is really good. Welcome, rest. Now, maybe we can take a look at those things, maybe just to check if it's anything interesting. But I doubt it, quite frankly. Well, this is everything we've learned already. Also, same things that have been explained to us. So, let's leave this place now. And from here, there is no going back. We can only move forward now. And everything is going to be a way more interesting from now on. Look at the armor. It looks good on me. I've been thinking on all that you learned below. If you've got your breath, we ought to discuss our next steps. And the music. God. What are you doing here? Curious, don't you think? Well, as explained before, obviously, that was Duke Ravengar, Will's father. He surely has something to say about that. Gods be damned. With that parasite in his brain, father could wreak untold havoc in the Absolute's name. Should Baldur's Gate fall to the Absolute, every one of the coast cities will be ripe for the plucking. We're not just fighting for our cure. We're fighting for my father. We're fighting for the gate. We're fighting for all of Faerun. The Absolute Cold has Rivengar. Where, uh, where will they take him? Worms Rock Fortress. All travelers to Baldur's Gate flow through it. It serves as headquarters for the Flaming Fist and their commander, my father. The Absolute's armies on the march. Gods forbid a tadpole Grand Duke throw open the gates for them. What do you know about Gortash and Orin? Orin? I'd never heard tell of. But Gortash I know. Or know of, more precisely. A self-styled strategic advisor to Baldur's Gate's peers. A bit player with dreams of a leading role, the way Father told it. He had no use for Gortash, and even less for his advice. I don't remember much beyond that. But where these Chosen are concerned, I have a suspicion we're about to know more than we'd like. Very well. And now we can talk about this whole thing with Misora. This will be interesting. Misora said you can say what well, led to your pact and exile. It's time I know the whole truth. Yes, but first a question. If your home were under siege, what would you sacrifice to save it? He just likes to deal with devils. It shows. As would I. And more. I was 17. Father... Older Raven Guard had just been named a Grand Duke and was called away to Elturel to help settle a dispute. That's when the Cult of the Dragon made its move. The Cult of the Dragon, a fractured religion. Some believers hold that undead dragons will inherit the world. Others worship the dragon goddess Tiamat and intend to summon her to Faerun. The Cult of the Dragon had infiltrated Baldur's Gate to what end? I just want you to know guys, maybe uh, just to mention all those things that, all the checks I write down in case I I, I fail the check <laughs> so it's funny when I write stuff and I don't have to use it the Cult of the Dragon to conjure the Dragon Queen and lay Tiamat. waste to Baldur's Gate a ten day after father left I heard a whisper as I slept Dusk Hawk Hill. 
the Queen of Chaos awakens. Go alone. I grabbed a rapier and set out. There wasn't a cloud in the sky, yet not a single star was shining. There they were, gathered at the foot of the hill. Your head tingles. Will wants to show you what happened. In the looming shadow of the mount, five groups of five figures each encircle a lofty totem. Atop each totem, a dragon's head is carved, and a massive orb held in its mouth. The cultists chant, first softly, then crying to the starless sky. There is a crack of thunder, a gust of wind, and a dragon's white head appears in the storm. As the maelstrom howls, Mizora's lips press to your ear. She will destroy Baldur's Gate. Grant me your soul and I will give you the power to save it. She whispers. Right. So that's why. She read the terms while two devils stood witness. And I said yes. One soul for one city. So we failed the check there and as you heard before he was fighting something called the cult of the dragon and it explained it's a fractured religion some uh, it's like split it basically because some people on on that cult believe on the the undead dragons will inherit the world as others worship the dragon goddess Tiamat and he, they basically want to summon her to Faerun that would be the brief summary. Brave choice, a frightening one. I don't know that it was brave. I just know that it was right. The moment I agreed, I burned with the fires of Avernus and oozed the rot of Dis. The cultists choked on our poisons and burned from our flames. And when we were done, all that remained were five grayed orbs atop a pile of ash. My soul was bound, and my lips were sealed. Is that how you lost your eye in the battle of the cult of the, with the cult of the dragon? It is the one scar I ever bore of it. Mizora replaced it with a sending stone. She uses it to track my location and speak from a distance. I could flee to the spine of the world or the depths of the lower dark and still never shake her. He returned to an unsuspecting city and a wayward son with a smirking devil at his side. I tried to tell him the truth, but my mouth couldn't form the words. I led him to the battlefield, but Mazora had swept it clean. I showed him my stone eye, but he only turned away. After, he said only one word. Go. So I did. Very well. So that's... I understand. There's that for background. Finally. And that's it, basically, yeah. There is a Hira here. There is Withers, which is curious. Our enemies spread like rub rot. Treat one patch, and two more bloom in its place. An elder brain bound by lost Netherese magic with servants of the dead three holding the chain. <laughs> Reminds me of old times. Because she did fight them. That's something most people know. You've tangled with the dead three before? Extensively. Mind flares too. But I never dreamed of seeing gods and the lithids working in concert. It is most disturbing. But take courage. We have killed a man who could not die and stripped the Absolute's army of its general. You have a nether stone, and you're on the scent of two more. These chosen have reason to fear you, and I would like to be at your side when you confront them. 
Glad to be there. Falling foul of Ketherick. Convinced me that my grand adventures were behind me. That even if I survived, I should hang up my blades. But you convinced me otherwise. We ventured into darkness together. Now we've come out the other side. I'd say I'm feeling a little refreshed. When we reach Baldur's Gate, there will be even darker paths to tread. I will follow you wherever they lead. And this is when she becomes a, to a shadow cursed in playable companion. With the Absolute's army gone, the Risen Road should be clear. We can follow it all the way to Baldur's Gate. There's a Harper's safe house in Worms Crossing. Dentalan's Dancing Axe. We do well to check in with them before entering the city proper. Beyond that, our course is yours to set. Find me at your camp, huh? I can remember how to take orders, as well as give them. Very nice. There is also, I don't know what happens with, uh, oh well, there, is sh there she is. that you'd come back to me but somehow it was all a nightmare dawn would undo i had no dreams at all nothing but darkness and when i woke my father said you were dead his soul was poisoned by the god of death his sick devotion ruined him but for all his sins he brought you back to me. Are you all right? I will be. And you? In this moment, I want for nothing. Ah, oh, there you are. And I'm wearing the armor. This. Aelin. Aelin, this is... Oh, but we have met. This is the soldier that freed me most valiantly from the Shadowfell. They watched my boot crush the very brain of villainy and fought well against your changed father. May he rest in peace at last, now that he's dead. I have more to thank you for than I knew. And we have much to discuss. Perhaps we could join you in your camp later. And in that moment, it's when all, all the conversations among Thorm and Aelin become clear, right? This is very good uh, for closing. We look forward to it. We've been you unraveling pretty well, guys. By the fires of your camp's hearth, we will discuss all we must. I'll be ready. Whatever you have to say had better be worth your life. Now you will leave us. We must take succor in one another's bodies and words. <laughs> Very well. We'll see you later. There is much to unravel in. There is much to see. There is Halsey here as well. Everyone, Thank really. You rests well. He's healing very rapidly, now that Oliver has returned to him. Mm. Well, yeah, there's nothing much here. Withers, though. Was it like it? Come, One HP. Important matters to discuss. Let's see. Thy hunger denied. Saluna's faithful yet shines. How do you know? The balance shifts. 
Thou hast seen with thine own eyes and felt in thine urges. The dead three unite. There are depths to this alliance yet unplumbed. Consider, mortal. Do illithids possess souls? How do you know? Thy hunger denied. Curious. Do illithids possess souls? Well, I don't know. Correct. They don't? Yet. The three amass an illithid army void of apostolic souls that could imbue them with power. A flock without souls, yet to what end, O oh, tempted one? This is the question thou must come to answer. Until such time, be availed of my services. You know these urges? What can you tell me? Nothing thou dost not already know. Well... I'm surprised to see you. Why are you here? Where matters of balance are concerned, I am eternally called. That's an interesting sentence right there. You seem to know a lot about the Dead Three. Yes, Bane, Lord of Darkness, Baal, Lord of Murder, Merkel, Lord of Bones. Once judged, ascended, then vanquished as one and as three. The Alliance is reforged, mortal. The plains thus quake and the gods shudder. It seems like you see, that is very um, usual to happen. But very well. That would be about it for closing today. There is still many people here. Uh, it is Wolverine over there. It's fun to see him. But now we shall get going. We need to go. We leave the heart of the Absolute alive. Thanks to you. You did well to defeat Ketherick. But Ketherick was only the first to fall. There are many more battles ahead. And they will not be so easily won. You will need allies. I already have. You have the makings of a leader. Your actions have already inspired those around you. Jahira's wisdom will be an asset to you on the journey ahead. Her harpers, too. Halsin's strength and loyalty will bolster you in times of need. But if we are to succeed, we will need others. She's asking me to recruit. Will be there anyone left when we arrive in the city? Even if the buildings are demolished, there are always survivors. There are always those who will fight. Baldur's Gate may not know it yet, but its fate is bound to ours. Seek on its streets those whose purpose aligns with our own and invite them to our cause. Together, we will put an end to the Absolute. The Chosen. All. And from the now... The Gate is west of the town. If we hurry, we'll arrive before the Absolute's forces. We only need to get going towards Baldur's Gate. And lads, there, it's basically the beginning of Act 3. Uh, well, 3, forgive my English. And, well, what can I say? What we've done so far, it's gonna be double that we got lots of things to do, and that's, once we get there, it's when things are going to start to unravel, as intended on this series. So, I hope you've been paying attention, I hope you've been reading with me. The road to Baldur's Gate is up ahead. 
No turning back once we start down that road. Precisely. But we're gonna leave it here for today. And I hope to see you in the next episode because it's gonna be spectacular. I really hope you enjoy it. And I'll see you in the next one. Stay tuned.